guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be me telling you guys about the 2019 book clubs and Bible study picks, as I have already set the schedule and everything for 2019, and I'm so excited. If you are a part of the Daughter of Increase Facebook group, you already know what's going on going on the book clubs as well as the bible studies and if you guys have checked my instagram i did post it but this is going to be the official video sharing with you guys exactly what it is and reading through some of the books with you so i'm going to start off with the bible studies so like i said um in a previous video next year i definitely want to transition to using the new king james translation that is a translation that i love and use personally i was using the esv for a while just because it's an easier translation for those of you who are new to studying the word of god or just new period to reading your bible and as much as i do enjoy the easy translation i find that when i do my notes i study and get all of my notes for the new king james and sometimes the esv changes a lot of the scripture text or there is some text missing and i just i don't like that personally it like it does something to me so i will be switching over to the new king james but i'm not going to switch over to that translation until um february because january we will be diving into the book of ephesians and i have already studied the book of ephesians myself in my new king james translation so I have to study it in the ESV. I could always study it in the NLT or the CSV, but I'm deciding to stick with the ESV for now, for the month of January. So we will be diving into Ephesians for January, and we're going to do the whole complete book of Ephesians chapters 1 through 6. Um, and then in February, we are going to knock out Jonah. And I'm just going to quickly grab my um, little draft of everything that I have written out just to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information so yeah um February we'll be diving into Jonah and Jonah is only four chapters so it's going to be a chapter a week and it's pretty simple fairly simple um nothing extensive or anything like that for the month of March we are going to be diving into the book of James there are five chapters which will be five weeks of studying um so I'm excited for that April, we will be diving back into the Gospel of John, and I told you guys previously in a video that um, I just I needed to take a break because John was just overwhelming me with being in the Gospels too much because I studied John, and then I did Luke, and then I restudied John with my siblings, and then I started studying John here on YouTube, and then I went straight into Mark, and the Gospels was just way too much, um, and John has really, really extensive, like, extensive verses more than like 50 72 verses um so i just i needed a break so that's why i stopped doing it for a while i do have john chapters one through five already up for you guys if you haven't seen it but um we will be diving back into john doing chapters six through ten um in the month of april and then in may we'll be diving into hosea and hosea is pretty long if i'm not mistaken it's a three month study yes hosea is definitely a three month study we will be studying it from May all the way up until July. Um, a chapter a week. It's a very long study, so I'm okay with that. I hope you guys are okay with doing a three-month study. And I kind of like the book of Hosea. Um, I haven't studied the book of Hosea yet. He is a prophet. But um, I'm really interested in his story as well as uh, his romance with the prostitute Gomer, especially after reading with Demon Love, which I'll share with you guys about that in a minute. But um, in August, we'll go right back into John doing chapters 11 to 15. Yes, doing chapters 11 to 15 in August. And then in September, we'll be doing Philippians. It's only four chapters, so that'll be a real quick read or study. Then October, we're going to go back into John up until November. So finishing John completely from 16 to chapter 21. And then in December, there is no bible study so december there will be no bible study um i just i don't want to overload everyone with bible studies and i don't want to overload myself um because i am studying these a month ahead of you guys just to have the notes and things like that and um the notes are another thing i want to discuss so i know i was doing the notes for you guys last year you know and it was cool but my main concern was that people were using the notes 
or asking for the notes but not going back to study for themselves and I never want it to be where you guys take my word for what it is because I'm not God I am not the Bible I definitely want you guys to utilize the notes to help you as you study yourself um, that is the purpose of these Bible studies is not me just to I don't want to say teach the word but you know give my opinion no I actually extensively study these um, like hardcore I do a lot of in-depth studying you guys have seen from my study with me's and devotional with me how I go about doing devotionals and studying the Word of God um so for 2019 there are some changes and um, I did pray on this a lot I did uh, speak with my first lady I consulted with my mother and the Holy Spirit just placed it on my heart to do it this way and I apologize to anyone who finds this to be um, I don't want to say rude way but to be something that they're not interested in but so before I let me show you guys quickly um where is it where is it where is it I have it here because I literally just printed it out okay so I have the study notes for the book of Ephesians the book of Ephesians already done and um, set for you guys literally here it is um, the study notes for the book of Ephesians literally chapters 1 through 6 um, and it is a total of 30 pages long I don't know it, there's charts there's cross references there's there's a lot of notes um, definitions key verses and things like that and um, what I am doing for next year is when I make these notes I will no longer do them chapter by chapter I'm going to do a complete packet for the whole book that we're studying except for John John is not it's just way too much for John John will be done in five um, by five chapters but all the other books that we're studying Probably not Hosea either, because Hosea is really long, really long, 14 chapters, but um, majority of them will be done in a complete packet with the whole entire book done, um, and they will be available for purchase. Um, and the reason I'm doing, is, doing it that way is, one, because I'm putting a lot of work into this, and I don't want you all to just take it and not put the work in for yourself. That's the first reason. Secondly outside of it being a lot of work it does take a lot of time and don't get me wrong i love love studying the word of god and creating this content for you guys i truly truly enjoy it. but it takes a lot of time because then i have to um set specific time to do outside of my personal study now create notes that will help you all understand because the way i understand is not the same way that you will understand it. so i have to kind of change my notes to a better way for you guys to understand um, and outside of that, I also obviously have the YouTube channel, um, and then I'm a stay-at-help mom, and then I also work for my church in the administration department, so it takes a lot. Um, <laughs> it's very stressful, and I learned that through studying John, I was getting stressed out, I was getting overwhelmed, um, trying to please and make sure everything was good for everyone else while stressing myself out, and that's not good. And I know many of you guys will probably say, oh, she's doing this for the money. I'm honestly not doing it for the money. I was going to honestly do this chapter by chapter for free. But the Holy Spirit has told me that um, it's, it, you know, I, I can charge. And I'm not charging a lot. Um, these notes um, for 30 pages are only going to be for $10. Um, and I'm never going to charge more than that, um, honestly. I'm just not. Uh, the money will go towards anything that I'm doing for Daughter of Increase. It is not for me personally. Um, obviously, I don't work and I do have a son, but the money is not for myself. The money will be going back into Daughter of Increase. And this will help me ensure that people are utilizing the notes seriously and not just because they're free notes. Um, I know there are tons of people out there doing programs and Bible studies and they're charging arm and a leg. And I don't want to charge an arm and a leg because I'm making sure that you guys are being edified um, and I'm making sure that you guys are... Um, what is the word? I guess I'll just say edify. Um, I'm really trying to feed your spirit man, feed um, your growth. I'm not just doing this for the money. I know there are a bunch of people out there who are doing programs and Bible studies and charging an arm and a leg. Like I, I almost signed up for a program because I was really into the person's um, methods, but what she was charging just didn't sit well with my spirit. Um, so yeah. So it's literally like 30 pages long of notes, chapters one through six. There are key scriptures, like I said. Um, I have the Greek definitions. I also have 
key scriptures for you guys so that is that if you guys are interested the link is on my blog um where you can pay for it and pay for it and then i will send you the link to download it um but again i want to do this because i want to make sure people are utilizing it and not taking um taking it as a joke i don't want to say joke but are not being serious about it so i put a lot of blood sweat and tears in this and um, I, I, I really love it. These are the notes I will be using when I do the Bible study with you guys. So you do not have to purchase the notes. But if you do want the notes, they are available. And they are only $10 for 30 pages full of notes. And the notes are using the ESV translation. Again, January will be the last time I use the ESV translation for Bible studies. Probably. Um, because I'll be switching over to the New King James. Now, don't get me wrong. I will be using other translations down the line. But um, specifically for January... I'll be using the ESV and then from then on just sticking to the New King James. I may dabble with the CSV here and there as well as the NLT depending. But um, yeah, that's that. So I guess that's it as far as the 2019 Bible studies. I do have a printable you guys can download with all the Bible studies already done. So it says Daughter of Increase 2019 Bible studies and all of the books as well as the months that we'll be studying. So again, there will be no Bible study for the month of December, but January through November we have Bible study set. And there are one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six Bible studies to be done within 11 months. So that's great. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is end this video here and then do a separate video all about the books that we will be reading for book club because I don't want this video to be too long and I really wanted to just focus on a specific portion for 2019. So I'm going to end this here. If you guys are interested in seeing the book club picks, just click the eye on the screen to watch the next video. And if not, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.